G'day guys. The default overlays in the Nintendo DS emulator on Arc OS for the R36S are not ideal. Both options leave you with a very small screen in either the bottom or the bottom corner. Luckily, it's super easy to add custom overlays. Over on our Windows 10 PC now, we just want to go to Google and type in Arc OS NDS Overlay. Click on the GitHub link from Aeolus. Scroll down. Here are your custom overlays. I recommend downloading Castlevania and Pokemon Sepia. They are the two overlays with the most screen real estate. To download, simply click on the links with the name to the left of the overlay. Once they're finished downloading, we'll open up our downloads folder and we want to extract both of them. I have inserted the ArcOS SD card into my computer. All we want to do is copy the two overlays we just downloaded to the backgrounds folder inside the Nintendo DS folder on our EasyROMs partition. I'll start with Castlevania. Let's go to copy, go to EasyROMs, go to Nintendo DS, go to background BG, and paste it in here. We want to do the same for Pokemon Sepia. Once you've copied both new overlays to the backgrounds folder, we can safely eject our SD card. We've put the card back in our R36S. Let's open up Nintendo DS and take a look at our new overlays. The first one we're looking at is the Pokemon Sepia one. As you can see, we have the larger top screen with a slightly smaller bottom screen. Pressing R2 will change to the next overlay, which has two equally sized screens. You can swap the screens around inside drastic settings. To open up the menu, press the left thumbstick in. We want to go to the top option, change options, video options, again the top one. You want to go down to screen swap and change it. Once it's changed, go down to exit, save for all games. At the very bottom, we can go to return to game. And now you can see the bottom screen is on the top with the top screen on the bottom. This setting is for both overlays. To revert back to your old overlays, simply put the SD card back in your computer and delete the new overlays that we added. That's all there is to it. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.